This episode is sponsored by Bank On It, your source for flip, income, and wholesale properties. Previously on Those Flipping Guys. We just felt that our area where our office was was not being served by the general investor community. So what we were trying to do is make a real estate investment meeting that was super professional. The people that are in this meeting are the people that we use. These are our people. Ultimately, the main idea is that they get business out of it. And I think the reason why people come back is because they actually do. Somebody makes $25,000. Is that a bad deal? This is Gene. I'm glad we put it for the higher price. <laughs> this is Angelo. They have been flipping homes since 2001 and have flipped over 3,000 properties. They buy houses for cash. All done, baby. No scripts here, no setup scene, just real guys making real <laughs> deals. We're nice guys. No matter what your ultimate lifestyle looks like, you have to find a way to fund Who it. Who wants to make some moolah? So if you're ready to earn money, balance your life, and live your dreams, meet those flipping guys. Flipping homes is like, in my opinion, one of the only ways that you can have a good balance between work and home. I can't think of any other business. They just don't have the flexibility we have. And uh, so this is a great industry for that. All right, cool. Well, one good thing about our job is it's flexible. So I've got to go have a parent-teacher conference with one of my daughter's teachers. Uh, she had a little challenge on one of her math tests, and I want to just go in and make sure what's going on. You know, it's hard work. I'm not trying to make it sound like it's not hard work, but the reality is I don't miss anything with my kids. I don't miss anything at home at all. So I can drop Gene off. He can go have a parent-teacher conference. Really absolutely no bother. And uh, Gene would do the same thing for me. Let me just tell you about my personal time. I'm a dad of three kids. I run my own company. And I don't ever have any real free time. <laughs> I gotta go run to the title company to get my signature notarized, to pick up a permit for windows that we're doing in one of our rehabs in Davie, because there was a lot of windows broken out and the doors were all punched in and all that garbage. I was able to get the property at a bigger discount because the bank didn't want to deal with it, so I dealt with it. So this is the last little bit. What's up? Hey, how are you? Hello. Hello, how are you? Yeah, it's a whole new a whole new area of, of title. I have to work on for you. He loves that. Title guarantee is the best in the business. Mark and Kelly are the owners, dear friends of mine. The relationship goes way deeper than business. They've assembled an awesome staff. It takes the right group of people to handle our group of people. Mark wants me out of here so bad. <laughs> Mark's just, it's notarized, just leave. No, but this is Mark's new office, title guarantee. And uh, pretty awesome, man, it's all modern. Check out this kitchen. Nice place, right? You know, it's a stressful business. They're putting up together a purchase, they're putting together a sale, and if I find a way to answer somebody, you know, smart alecky, I'm gonna take it. Having a good title company to help you do your files is a recipe that you need for success in our business. It's probably one of the more important pieces. Where's your side here? I left them at the office. I gotta go do some stuff fast. You can't do stuff fast when Gene's around. <laughs> I don't know how he gets so much done in a particular day. He's amazing at time management. Me, I gotta write it down and I wing it. Uh, so probably not the best person to talk about time management. There's some genisms along the way that you get to know. I'm sure I have plenty. But I get it done. I get it done. Let me just tell you. So the cool thing about City of Davie is that they only require a final inspection, which is neat because most other cities require what's called an in progress. So they want to see the frames before the glass is in and before everything. Whereas the city of Davies is gonna come at the end when you're done and the house is all buttoned up. That saves you time. This house is probably gonna take my guy somewhere in the avenue of a half hour to 45 minutes per window. And there's like a, 10 windows. I'm going to pick the permit up today and then we should probably have the windows in by no later than Monday. Our business can be very exciting. Oh man, let me tell you. This is like the bowels of our business. Awesome. Okay, this is the building part. Sweet. So you are set. Cool. I emailed them again for just fun. <laughs> we should probably have the windows in by no later than Monday, get the final inspection, and go on our merry way. She starts yelling at me. I didn't bring the copy, I'm sorry. And she's like, I gotta charge you 25 cents a copy. I'm like, okay. I go, well, if I'm paying, can you make an extra copy so I have a copy? <laughs> My grandmother used to always tell me that if you're gonna be uh, dumb, you better be nice. <laughs>
Time management is so important because as we say in our office, you either need to be working, doing something that's gonna be a money-making activity that's gonna help you get paid, or spend time doing what you like to do. Spend time with your family. I am a professional shoe tire. I could tie a shoe like no other. I could pick up cones. But the most fun thing I get to do is interact with the girls and have fun with them, and that's what it's all about for me. Seriously? I mean, come on, woman! You'll notice that I have a pretty funny relationship with everybody. Surprise, surprise. But more importantly, he's also a good mentor with the girls. Angelo's got a great skill with kids, but at the same time, the parents. He could be a collegiate level coach like that, and he's out here coaching these girls, and uh, they really get a good benefit from it. I'm like, Bailey, you wanna run? She's like, nah. <laughs> The reason why I do it is, look, these kids are young. You don't get this time back with your kids. It's a huge sacrifice to rush over here and get here by 5.30 is not an easy feat. But at the end of the day, I get to spend time with my daughter, spend time with my son, know their friends. So it really helps as a parent to be this involved. And yeah, I'm just kind of hanging out and tying shoes. But the cool thing is I'm the one that's always there when the kids fall. And I'm the one that has that kind of relationship with them. So the reason I do this is uh, it's the best thing I do all day. I love it. So plan your work, work your plan. Not every day do you have to put in eight hours. Some days you can get just as much work done in two hours as you can in a full eight hours, 10 or even 12 hours. I tell you what, the day before vacation, now that's the day you got good time management because you get everything done. So if you just worked like every day you're going on vacation, you would be amazed at how much you can get accomplished. Hey, thanks for watching our show. Make sure you check out our webinars. Yeah, in our webinars, you're gonna learn more about our problems that we've had, case studies, real life scenarios, and uh, the ins and outs of real estate investing to make sure you have a great year.